Sure, your dog is good in the game of fetch, but have you noticed, in the rare instances, your dog wasn't able to catch a green ball, and it landed on the green grass, your dog can't seem to find it. Then, you try to point it to him, but he just can't see it. That's because dogs don't see the world like we do. Yes, that too, but I mean literally, they see the world differently. Here's a dog's eye, and here's a human eye. The basic structure is the same. However, dogs have larger cornea, iris, and in some breeds, their eyes can dilate. This means that they have increased side vision, so they have more visual scope. Talk about side eye. <laughs> dog's eyes are also raw dominated. These allow them to see in the dark. These rods, along with what we call tapetum lucidum, which makes dogs give them the ability to see better at night. Now that's one thing I would like to have, night vision goggles. So when your dog stares in the dark, don't worry, they don't see ghosts. They may be staring at falling leaves or a cricket or moving light shadows. Where do human eyes get the edge, you ask? Ah, colors. This is how we humans see colors, and this is how dogs see them. Again, this is how dogs see colors, and this is how we see them. This is because they have fewer cone receptors, so they are unable to see most colors. It's been said that humans who have perfect eyesight have 20-20 vision. Dogs, on the other hand, are said to have typically 2075. Meaning, if you just stood still across a certain distance, don't expect a dog to recognize you. So, if you come across a new dog and you're not sure if you are friends, do not move. Because if you do, and you run, you better run fast. Remember, they may not see most colors, but their eyes are motion sensitive. That's why they will always be better in fetch. And of course, in seeing in the dark. But with all these differences in terms of vision, their eyes will always lit up when they see us. And our heart will always warm at the sight of them. If you like this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting on the notification icon so you get notified of our latest uploads. This has been Doug Coach Francis, and we'll see you in the next one.